There are four basic bow distribution exercises that I like to do with my students and use as warm-ups myself. The first two involve using the full bow with the upper and the lower arm, and then the lower arm at the tip. I like to do left-right motion or contrary motion with these bow distribution exercises. And of course you can do scales as well. The second bow distribution exercise is very similar to that first one with 16th notes at the tip produced by the lower arm. And the frog, of course, the upper arm. The third exercise involves using a small amount of bow and then coming back to the frog on the up bows with the upper arm in the triplet. The upper arm is active and the wrist is passive. Last exercise is a dotted rhythm using the upper arm and the wrist. The upper arm is active and the wrist is passive. Both upper arm and wrist make circular motions. What's interesting in this stroke is that the bow leaves the string in order to enhance the resonance and the bow comes back slightly in order to have more bow for the short note. to make sure the bow is back on the string on that up bow. Sometimes it's helpful to actually stop the motion and put the bow back on the string just to make sure that it really is on the string and catching the string. This stroke is used a lot in Baroque music, for example in the Marcello Sonata in F major.